my channel welcome back to another video so today we are filming a little weekend vlog well it's gonna be a kind of a spend a sunday reset day with me you know how i love a sunday reset so i thought i'd start the video here as i'm just about to tackle the mess that is my room and we're gonna take a trip into town i'm gonna try and have a look in some fun shops maybe a bit of primark maybe a bit of b&m basically just have one of our favorite days and spend the day vlogging together which makes my day so much better so first things first on the agenda is to tackle this room i'm gonna pop on some youtube i think i'm gonna watch a little bit of shannon mooney one of my faves on the, in the background whilst i tackle this room i'm literally gonna give myself 20 minutes i've started doing this thing where i set timers when i do cleaning and i feel like it just makes it go so much quicker so let's tie the bedroom and then let's go to town because i'm so excited for a little shopping day this weekend has been a, a complete self-care weekend i have done loads of things that i needed to get done this morning it's been super productive it's now about lunch time so let's kick off the sunday reset the room is done i feel like i always make such a big deal out of tidying my room i'm like it's literally gonna take me forever and it never does it's always absolutely fine so this is your sign if you're watching this on a sunday and you need to tidy your room just set yourself a 20 minute timer or if you need to do your washing or your dishwasher or anything like that just set a little timer honestly it helps so much so i'm gonna head out now it's currently about one o'clock i might have some lunch and then go straight to town and i need to look around all my little favorite shops but before we go i really quickly wanted to share with you my new little top ups from Anna louisa i mentioned last week in my video that i picked my mum up a mother's day present and i got her the most gorgeous silver earrings they are the zara silver and she absolutely loved them like honestly she was obsessed so i picked up those last week for my mum and they have very kindly sent me another little top up so i need to share with you what i've got because i am so excited first of all the packaging like couldn't get any cuter i always take these with me on holiday like when you need somewhere to pop your jewelry they have like a little magnetic clasp so everything feels like nice and secure in there and i always take these on holiday so that's your sign not to throw your packaging away um but look at what i have got these are the most gorgeous earrings these are called kiara and i feel like everybody is loving the kind of like chunky gold earring like this at the moment so i'm gonna do a little bit of a switch from my current go-to these are also anna louisa and swap to the kiara earrings so the ones i have in at the minute are the oshi huggies and then the mini abbeys but the mini abbeys are going to be swapped today to these ones and i am so excited because i've wanted a good quality pair of big chunky gold hoops for so long so let's do a little switch here i have not taken this combination out since december when i put them in like honestly you don't really need to top up on them that much you don't really need many i feel like you just need it's like creating a staple wardrobe but with jewelry with anna louisa because you can just keep them in and they are they don't tarnish they last so long like they're just incredible and i've honestly gotten so many compliments on this little duo but let's let's put the kiaras in and see what these ones look like oh my goodness look at those they are absolutely stunning i am obsessed let's pop the other ones in i've also picked up a ring from anna louisa this time which i'm so excited about i will leave a link to these in the description box by the way in case you want to have a little browse oh my god i love them so much like that has just leveled up the outfit like a basic outfit cute gold accessories were good to go and you are not ready for the next thing i'm about to show you hang on where i put it here we are i have picked up a ring from anna louisa i love it this is very much like a designer inspired ring and i have been upset the last few months because all the girls at work wear such gorgeous rings and i have just lost the habit of wearing rings and i'm about to get back into my ring collection with this so let's pop this on i i'm gonna have to put it on this finger because i do have quite large chunky fingers but oh my goodness look at that i am obsessed i'm literally obsessed so that is my new leveled up jewelry game to go out to town i'm feeling on top of the world now but yeah like i said Anna louise are my go-to's i feel like you will be sick to death of hearing me talk about them because i'm just in love with them they are my go-to jewelry brand for a gift for yourself if you want to treat yourself if you want to level up your gold jewelry game then definitely get involved but yeah i'll leave a link down below if you want to shop any of these pieces 
like I said, I would definitely recommend. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling here because I will literally sit here talking to you about jewellery for the foreseeable. And we need to head out. So I'll put the names and everything on the screen for you. And let's go shopping in town because is there anything better than a Sunday shopping trip? Potentially grabbing a coffee, coming back and having a relaxing evening. Okay, I am ready. I've literally popped my hair up because I want to see the earrings. Popping on some gloss. I literally apply lip gloss like 10 times a day. That's a way underestimation. 15, 30 times a day. Popping on the refi gloss and the new soul scent in. This is the Delicia, Delicia, how you say it? Delicia Drench one. And I actually love it. Like at first I really wasn't sure. Like I sprayed it and I was like, oh. Um, but it's grown on me and it's now my new obsession. You can tell how much I love it to say it's just launched and I'm down here. Anyway, we are off to town. I think plan of action is going to be Olive Bonus always. Potentially Primark. I don't know if I can do it on a weekend. Manchester Primark is hell on a weekend. And it's on Market Street. If you live in Manchester, Market Street just takes a lot of courage for me to go down. I also need to do some food shopping. I also need to go to Vision Express. Like, ah, I've got a lot to do. It's like two o'clock. So let's go. Let's spend a little shopping trip together. And fingers crossed the Vision Express can fix my glasses because I broke them and I'm really stressed. I'm having to wear contacts every single day and I don't like it. to carry my food shop back from town i mean i do drive but i try and do my food shopping like in town on the weekend so i don't have to go get my car and everything but i'm just gonna give you a little rundown of my food shop because i always love seeing what people get in there so i'm gonna give you a little breakdown this is from aldi and it's for i would say about four nights that three four nights this week I'm, I'm actually eating out a couple of times this week so it's not absolutely everything i would need it costs 24 pounds Usually the shopping is quite a lot more than that, but like I said, this isn't for every single day. So I'm just going to show you. The only reason I say that is because whenever I see people do like a weekly shop for like £25, I'm like, how have you done that? Like, I wish I could do that, but I just feel like when you buy them for every single day, like meat, vegetables, everything like that, like it adds up. So let's do a breakdown. I'll try and do it in like a little bit of sections, but I'm not going to lie. I'm probably just going to pull out randomly. So we're going to do some meal prep in a minute anyway in this vlog, but I'm going to make these little i wanted to make chicken kofta so i was going to get some chicken mince but then i kind of saw these chicken meatballs and i was like they would be perfect these are less than six percent fat chicken meatballs so what i'm going to do is just put some like spring onion and like shove it into the meatballs pop them in the oven that's going to be my meal prep for the week um i will put a picture on screen of what i'm trying to create a similar version of this emily english recipe i've seen so that is what i got for lunches this week and then i've got gonna show you the meat first i got two packs of chicken i'm really funny with chicken so i always get the two packs um just because i don't like keeping them open for more than like a day i'm so weird about it so that's all the meat i got this week i'm just going at chicken crazy and then fresh stuff i got lettuce i got spring onions i love spring onions so much I literally have a passion for spring onions i got especially selected strawberries because i usually get my fruit from m&s and everything else at aldi but this week I just thought, let's just try the specially selected strawberries because they look really nice. So I got those. I got some tomatoes. What else did I get? I got some sour cream because I'm going to make fajitas this week. I also got some yogurt. And then cheese-wise, I got these low-fat cheese slices. I love these for making chicken burgers, putting them in fajitas. Like, I like these because I can track what i'm having when i have a slice so i have those and then feta what else have we got to show you bread wise i've got pizza breads because i'm basically going to put these with the chicken kofta bowls for lunches and then i got these brioche burger buns because i just love having chicken burgers for dinner i do a chicken breast a cheese slice like lettuce tomato mayo 
and make a little burger out of it. And then I got some pink Lady Kids apples because these are so much cheaper and smaller and you get more and I just like them. Got those, avocado, pepper, and then these are my new obsession. One of my best friends really works in Aldi as a food buyer and she got me some of these to try and I'm bloody obsessed. Like I absolutely love them. So if you haven't tried these on your fajitas, tacos, everything like that, get involved because I love them. And I just got some ibuprofen because I literally, I've said in my last vlog, I feel so run down at the minute and I feel like I'm getting constant like headaches, migraines, everything like that. So I just thought let's stock up. So next on the agenda we're going to do some meal prepping for the week and then I'm actually going to relax on a Sunday afternoon which I haven't done in so long because when I go home for the weekend I don't come back till Monday morning and I usually drive straight to work and I don't get this like Sunday reset which I have missed so much so we're going to do some food prep I'll show you how I make these little chicken kofta um meal prep dinners so if you are looking for some inspo then hopefully this can give you some but yeah, that's my food shop. Hopefully you enjoyed this little food shopping haul. And I hope you enjoyed my little come shop with me. I had to do it in silence with music over because like I said, Manchester on a weekend is a different level of busy. So yeah, anyway, let's do some food prep because I'm so excited to make these. Let me show you the picture of the recipe I'm trying to recreate actually. So that is kind of the vibe. Oh, I forgot pomegranate, but I'm going to just basically put salad, Greek yogurt, chicken, meatballs and make a little thing like that okay i'm literally just prepping now what i'm going to do is make a big salad bowl for the week and then i'm literally just going to make one portion actually for lunch tomorrow i've got laura's vlog on in the background living the dream watching some youtube doing some food prep and i actually want to be done with everything for the sunday reset by four o'clock so i need to get on with this once a month i basically want to start doing my empties slash beauty phase see working in beauty i feel like i find so many products and i try so many products and i feel like i end up like sifting through the ones that are actually worth the hype and i just feel like in my vlogs once a month we're going to do a little beauty faves little mini segment so if you're wanting to find these in my vlogs i'll put it in the title of the thumbnail every single time okay i'm gonna start off strong with hair favorites i feel like i've discovered my holy grail hair routine like honestly i really have number one recommendation that i will continue and continue and continue to use is the color wow dream cocktail this is the kale cocktail one now i've tried a couple of these this for in my opinion is by far the best I think if you've got blonde hair and you've got like a bit of split ends or damaged ends then this is the holy holy grail so i have bought two bottles of this now and i will continue to repurchase because i just absolutely love it we're nearly empty i think i've got about this much left which is really sad because i'm going to need to rebuy this but honestly if you're looking for something to fix the ends of your hair then this is what you want to go for I'm also going to start saving my empties when I finish them so I can actually show you because I love seeing what people have actually used. Like I feel like it's all well and good seeing a new in haul, but seeing what people truly use, use every single last drop of it, I feel like then you know it's good. So this is the Way Detox Shampoo. Again, I absolutely adore this and I am definitely going to stock up. Most of these things I get from Look Fantastic, um, but there's a few exceptions within the mix here today. But yeah, Way Detox Shampoo is incredible. I feel like when I wash my hair with anything else now, it just doesn't feel as clean as when I use this. So 100% recommend. If you're looking for something to kind of get rid of oil, get rid of buildup of products, then Way Detox Shampoo is your one. Another Colour Wow product. I'm obsessed with Colour Wow through and through. And I just think their products are incredible. So this is the Colour Wow Conditioner. I believe they've only got one conditioner or... Actually, this is the conditioner for thick hair, but they've also got a fine hair one. I absolutely love this. When I tell you this is probably my 10th bottle, Colour Wow is a brand that I've only tried and it's working and it looks fantastic. I think I've been there nearly a year and a half now and I've only used this conditioner since I discovered it because it's just the best. It almost, it almost kind of treats your hair like a mask, but it's a conditioner, so it's easier to use. Work it on. I think it's three minutes you leave this on for. 
think it's best buy. I think I've made that up. But honestly, 10 out of 10. Moving away from hair favourites, I'm going to go into body care favourites now. So a body spray I'm currently loving. I showed you this earlier, I think, in the vlog. This is the new Soul Fragrance, number 59. It's Delis Delicia Drench, I think it's called. I absolutely love it. Like, when I first got it, I wasn't quite sure. Like, I was, it was very different from the other Soul Fragrances, essentially. But it just smells so fresh. Every time I go to work, I just give myself a little spritz. And I love with salt that you can get these massive chunky bottles because there's literally so much in there. And I feel like it's it doesn't feel as like you should be as sparing than using like a super, super expensive, like mm, tiny perfume bottles. Okay, second is Sanctuary Spa. Two Sanctuary products I've been absolutely loving. So the Ultra Rich Shower Burst and the Shower Oil in the fragrance lily and rose this is the new natural oils collection and i just adore it one the aesthetic in the bathroom isn't matched like baby paint products in my in my shower look incredible but number two like they just smell incredible this one makes you feel super clean like it foams up loads i just absolutely love it and then this one i use on like a Sunday when I want like a really relaxing, this is more of an evening product to me and this is more of a morning product, I don't know why, but that's kind of how I use them. One more favourite and it's another Whey product because we love Whey over here. This is the Whey body cleanser, I think this is in St Bart's, yeah honestly, if you could smell this oh, through the screen, it is absolutely phenomenal. We actually had Whey come into the office and do like a little talk for us and they did the brand training of all the different scents and we like smelled them all on our hands. Honestly, it was an incredible day. And I discovered St. Bart's fragrance then and I have loved it ever since. This is another empty. These two really, really need replenishing. And I just think the aesthetic of those as well, like again, in your bathroom, I know it's not about all the looks all the time, but I just adore them. Moving on to skincare and makeup favorites. And then we are nearly done. So the first favourite has been a Freya favourite of mine. Sorry, there's products going everywhere. This is the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. Now this cleanser I have used since, I want to say I was like 15. And this is the only thing that's ever cleared my skin up. If you struggle with tiny little spots along your forehead, and that's actually what I'm dealing with at the moment, then honestly give this a try. You use it with a hot cloth. You can get cloths from Liz Earl, but you can also get them from like Primark and things like that. It is incredible and I find whenever I stop using this I break out and it's just reminded me that I haven't used this in a couple of weeks and I am struggling a lot with my skin at the minute so best believe I'll be using this tonight. Quite a new favourite of mine but a firm favourite in the collection already is the Paula's Choice BHA Toner. Again I found this has really really helped me with my little bumps on my skin and everything like that. I just love it. Absolutely love it. And then jumping in to a couple of little makeup slash tan favourites. Rodeo Banana Low Lighter. I adore this. This is, I think, my third one of these. Probably got more floating around empties, but it's just so good. And the final two products, Refi Lip Gloss in the shade Rosewood. I've loved the Refi Clear Gloss for years, pretty much since it came out, but I just love it. Like I really think it's worth the hype but not least is this tan product this is the loving tan deluxe face tan it is incredible like incredible i've got the shade dark in this and i just pop it on my skin before i go to bed and i wake up and i just feel like i'm kissed by the sun so that is my mini little beauty favorites this month i'm gonna try and do them once a month so the next one will be april and god i feel like there's so much coming up in the vlogs for us like now i'm back on youtube i'm just so excited about being back because there's just so many things i can share with you like in a couple of weeks me and cam are going on a little staycation to the cotswolds which i'm so excited about that's for my birthday and i'm so much more of a I'm more of an experiences person than a present person, whereas Cameron's actually the opposite. Cameron actually really likes a present, which there's nothing wrong with that. Me and mum are also going on a spa staycation for Easter weekend, which I can't believe it. I feel like I've got all the exciting things coming up. And then in June, me and Cameron booked our main summer holiday. So it's all to come up in the vlog. And I feel like it's very, I can actually bend these now. I've shown you the empties. But I feel like it's all very exciting and being back on YouTube is bringing me so much happiness already. So 
yeah i hope you're enjoying these vlogs my dad actually told me my vlog last week was very boring and would not hold anyone's attention because it was 25 minutes plus so if you have an opinion on length of vlogs please please comment below because i need to prove him wrong because i know people like a long vlog because i do so please comment below if you like a long vlog because i need to show my dad i'm now chilling on the sofa on a sunday with these two snacks i've just finished these the m&s milk chocolate buttons these are my favourites ever. And then I've also just been snacking on these red pepper pizza chips from M&S, which again are my absolute favourites. A rarity as well for me to have time on a Sunday to actually chill, so I'm really, really enjoying it. Like, I finished my reset at like half past four, and I've had the whole afternoon to really relax, and I feel like I'm constantly on the go, like, hold on, you're a little bit close, oh, you're going closer. That's better. I feel like I'm constantly rushing around. I never have time to relax. I'm constantly like, if I'm sat down, I'm probably still doing something else. So I'm really forcing myself to just sit here, fully relax. I'm putting on a movie. I'm actually putting on The Proposal. And I've heard good things, but I've never seen this movie. So it's a movie night for me right now. I'm going to light the candle, put The Proposal on. And in a bit, we're going to make dinner together, which I'm very excited about. But yeah. I'm feeling very happy and content this weekend like it's one of the first weekends I haven't had some sort of plan rushing about here there, and everywhere like last week I went home to see my friends and then all weekend I was then at home then I came back to work straight on Monday morning the weekend before that I was somewhere else I can't remember where but I've literally been here there and everywhere and it's been so nice to have a real chill like I'm not even gonna wash my hair tonight because I washed it yesterday it's still pretty clean so I don't even need to do that. It is a lot later. I'm now making dinner and I'm going to do a little plate up my dinner with me because I love watching these on TikTok and why not bring it into the vlog? So we are having my favourite M&S pasta meal deal. It's the lasagna ravioli. Let me show you the packet so you can see what it actually is. Yeah, this is the packet. So essentially it's ravioli with pork inside pork and beef ragu inside and then it's got like bechamel creamy sauce and then you put it in a tomato sauce and it's like lasagna but ravioli is 10 out of 10. okay i'm gonna plate the pasta into this little bowl sorry the angle isn't perfect here but i'll show you once i've plated it up honestly this dinner is just my absolute favorite for some reason i saved this for a weekend treat and i think that's quite nice with some meals you have just to have them on a weekend because then they feel like special weekend dinners you know okay this is the setup gorgeous that movie was so good i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it i'm now going to do a little get ready for bed together because it is now sunday evening and i'm going to go and chill in bed now i mean it literally is 20 to 10 I'm going in with my trusty elvis cleansing balm to take off my makeup and then i'm going to use one of these pads which are from primark i love microfiber cloths to take off makeup i think they're so good and they seem to be the only thing that really fully removes my makeup properly honestly my skin is so sore guys like honestly there's so much texture and like bumps and i honestly don't know what caused such a breakout like honestly it you can't really see on camera but all around like the sides of my face and around here like there's really sore painful bumps like it's horrible but i'm gonna just try my best to clear up my skin by just really focusing on skincare for the next few days because i feel like life can get really busy and i can fall off my skincare game and then things like this happen um anyway I'm going to keep the skincare super simple tonight and go in again with my Paula's Choice BHA and just hope that, that clears it up because it's cleared up breakouts before and it just didn't really work last night but let's hope that using it for a second day helps a little bit. I'm literally now going to wash my teeth. I hope you enjoyed spending a day together. I really, really enjoyed this vlog. Like, I'm loving vlogging at the moment. Like I said, it's just so nice to be back on YouTube and be back doing what i love sorry i feel like i'm ending this vlog looking so rough but we're gonna embrace it good news is if you watch my last vlog the dry skin around my eyebrows was massively helped by the e45 cream so taking it back to basics does work so fingers crossed doing that with the skincare routine as well 
clears this breakup off my face but yeah thank you so much for watching i feel like it was a nice chilled relaxing sunday i'm gonna go get in bed now read my book ready for another week i'm very excited for a new week i feel like a new week is a fresh start and time to just work on goals again which i can't wait for don't forget that i did mention my new little Anna louise pieces in this vlog i'm obsessed with them i will leave a link down below for you to shop if you want to pick up any of my pieces but yeah anyway i'm gonna end this vlog here otherwise i think it will be literally 10 minutes long see you in the next one I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will 